there's internal conflict inside of me. I'm here to spill the fucking tea. That's right. Second, before I need to, I need to find dramatic music, no copyright. I need to score this moment. So I went over there. I went over. I went over to the roomie's house. And a shifter's birthday, so of course, what do they have? Catering. That's right. They have catering there. What is the catering? It's pizza. That's right. They have cookies. They have pizza. They have Doritos, Cool Ranch, and nacho cheese. And worst of all, they have Funyuns. They have shortbread cookies. And I'm trying to fucking diet. Folks, I'm trying to diet. I've been doing so goddamn well for the past two weeks. For the past three weeks, I have been dieting like a motherfucker. I have been under eating. I have been at a deficit. I've been working out, putting up heavy weights. So what did I do? I held strong. And I ordered sweet green to their house. That's right, folks. I did that. But I ordered the sweet green and I was still hungry. And I caved. But only for a brief moment. Only for a brief moment I caved. And I ended up eating one slice of Detroit pizza, which is the literally worst kind of pizza. What the fuck is what the fuck is going on? The, why would you order Detroit pizza? Who orders pizza from Detroit? Is Detroit known for its pizza? What the fuck's going on? There's no Italians in Detroit. Why is it Detroit pizza? Anyway, I had that one slice. And I'm still waiting for a sweet green. At that point, I'm sweating. I'm like SpongeBob trying to get a drink of water. There's sweat beads coming down my brow. I'm thinking to myself, don't eat. And then the sweet green ends up not being delivered to the house. And then I ended up eating four more slices of pepperoni jalapeno pizza. That's right. I broke my fucking diet, dude. I've been so good. I've been so good. And I, uh, you know, I still track the macros. And ultimately, I, I ate a bunch of pizza, which was not great for me. And then, of course, as soon as I broke the fucking, as soon as I broke the pizza barrier, as soon as I broke the pizza seal, uh, obviously, you know, what followed through was cookies. And I had some cookies as well. And, and I told my trainer all this, right? And he's just, like, ripping into me. He's like, you're fucking, you're weak. You're fucking weak. I feel so bad because one of my trainers is like not even in LA right now. And before I went out, he sent me a text message. He was like, be good today. Stay strong. You know, you got this. Like, and I, I felt like I betrayed them. You know what I mean? But turns out it doesn't even matter. Last week when I weighed myself, it was 256. I haven't been able to lose weight. I have it. My body has just been like holding on to weight as much as it fucking can for some reason. Because I'm at a deficit, right? And that's just how it is. I end up, uh, I end up losing weight only after like a month of holding on to the weight. And then boom, all of a sudden the, the, the seal is broken. The dam is broken. And I just lose a fuckload of weight over the course of like the next two weeks. And then it plateaus again. And then it stops again and it holds on to that weight again as my body basically gets used to, uh, being at that weight. Right. So that's just how it is for me. It's different for everyone else. Um, anyway, but I think I've already hit that. I've hit that point now. Because despite uh, I, me eating, <laughs> isn't weight loss a bad parameter for you since you gain muscle constantly? It doesn't matter. It's been, uh, I know, but it's, it's, I've been, I've been building muscle mass, uh, doing recomp for the past year. <sighs> if your weight's stagnant, even when you're dieting, you're probably just getting more Jackson's muscle mass weighs more than fat. Yeah, I, I, uh, that is part of it. Yes. So. Uh, the dumbbells I was benching were not that heavy. They were only 90s. Uh, but anyway, I it didn't matter because since last week to this week, uh, I'm 253. 
So through 253 uh, on the higher end. So I lost three pounds since last week to this week. I haven't changed my diet at all. As a matter of fact, I fucked up on one day. How the fuck does that work? Explain it to me. Explain how this shit works to me. It's literally magic, bro. Like calories in, calories out is the most mathematical way that you can do this thing, right? All diets uh, base their, 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 you know, their fundamentals on that. And it's like I'm doing calories in, calories out. I'm, I'm working out. I'm running around. I'm trying to be active on days where I'm not. And my body's just holding on to the weight. And then I finally fucking eat. And even if I, even though I ate last night, I ate pizza last night, boom, all of a sudden I'm still, I'm still on my weight loss. Everyone's body is different, but over my many, many years of dieting, working out, I found that, uh, you know, well, first of all, my entire family's obese. It's not a mistake. You know what I mean? It's both social learned. It's both socially learned, but also it's genetics as well. So I know all of that. Um, for me, like I said, my body likes to hold on to the weight because it goes into protection mode. It, it basically, it basically holds on to as much weight as possible. And then, um, and then ultimately I, the dam is broken and then I start losing weight normally, you know, calories and calories. That is an oversimplification of weight loss. We went to believe it's that we want to believe that it's that simple, but how do you measure what happens when your body's stressed and producing cortisol? Yeah, no, all of that stuff I pay attention to as well. Obviously, I don't have like a cortisol tracker, but um, I look at my I look at my rest. I look at my sleep. Sleep is a gigantic part of this process. So yeah. Uh, anyway, look, look, look. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, uh, last night I had the pizza. I had the shortbread cookies, and then you know what? Yeah, Jocko Wilnick was what I was thinking of. Uh, you know what I did after that, dude? You want to know what the fuck I did after the pizza, after the motherfucking cookies, dude? I got so tired that I had to leave early, okay? I almost fell asleep in the fucking Uber on the ride back home, okay? Like, that's, that's where I'm at right now in my life. That is where I'm at. I left a birthday party at 1030 after having five, five slices of fucking pizza and... Almost fell asleep. Okay. Officially old man status. 